Great, we know that the mean, our model, varies. So we have an idea of how well it fits the data. How do we make an inference of the population mean? While the standard error gives us an idea of how the mean varies, it might be more useful to put the model within error bounds, which leads us to confidence intervals. First, we note that the mean follows a normal distribution. This is an assumption, but the central limit theorem, TM, backs us up if we have 30 or more samples. So it's a reasonable assumption. We can then use z-scores. So if we have a normal distribution, we have 68.2% of the values falling within one standard deviation, 95.4% falling in two standard deviations, and 95% falling in 1.96. So plus or minus one standard deviation, plus or minus two, plus or minus 1.96. And what's very common is to calculate a 95% confidence interval, so we're going to do that. So let's go to it. The lower bound is the mean minus 1.96 standard error, and the upper bound is mean plus 1.96 standard error. That 1.96 again comes from the normal distribution, and it corresponds to the value which um, you know, you'd have 95% of the values fall within this range. So we bring in our example from a few seconds ago. We have the mean of 32.19 and the standard error of 2.53. So the mean is between 2.723 and 37.15, 19 times out of 20. So now it's your turn again. Calculate the 95% confidence interval for how many friends statistics professors will have in general. We have the mean, 2.6, we have the standard uh, deviation, 1.14, and our n is 5. Note that here we're going to assume a normal distribution, but with such a small sample you'd actually want to use the student's t distribution um, to calculate it. But that's okay. Assume a normal, a normal distribution, go. Uh, 